this is for the youth or the children of the church, but if you think about it, we will always be our parents' children. So when we say it's a youth or children's story, it includes all of us. Um, Ash Wednesday is passed, it was on March 2nd, and we're now not quite in the middle of Lenten season, but I thought this morning it would be good to understand that the whole purpose of Lenten season is to celebrate the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The reason Jesus was resurrected is so his death on a cross could atone for our sins, which means in uh, Romans 3.23, we all have sinned and fallen short. Okay, I would assume, well, I'll do a test. Raise your hand if you've never sinned. Okay, I feel pretty good. I'm in good company. Now, Paul also says in Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death. So Jesus, who had no sins, took his, our sins upon him so we could have eternal life. So what Jesus did, and sometimes it's beyond our ability to understand it, he took our sins and just washed them away. So... Um, You know what this is? It is a Coca-Cola bottle. They come in different flavors. They come in um, frost color and stuff like that. But this case came from my grandma's corn crib. They uh, tore, down, tore down my grandma's corn crib many, many years ago. And they found this case under the crib. So over time I bought these bottles when it was really cheap. But they're no longer cheap. So what I want to do today it's kind of show you how we can just wipe away our sin and maybe put it into a, 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 a lesson. So what I want to do, and especially the young youth, you're going to be watching this, okay? So I'm going to take one of the bottles and put it in here. This is just the beginning. And I want you to remember, I'll say this, I'm, this is not magic. I'm just being sneaky. And people love sneaky ministers. So put this over here. And let's do the two more. I'll watch very clear, carefully what I'm doing. Now, Riley may have seen this before. I don't know if I did this at Beach Gulf. So you may be the only one in here who, remember, who remembers this. One more. Well, Riley has to keep the secret all to herself because she knows something none of you all know. Well, Don G know it. Maybe Bill and Curl may know it. I don't know if I did over past time or not. And see, the reason I'm going slow, if I go slow, it means my message can be short. And we still get out on time. Okay, now. I need this. I want to take this. Why do I do this? Because I can. Well, it's back here because right now we know ranges around. Okay. Now there's a uh, hat track I use, uh, I'm working on at home, I'm trying to memorize, so if I want to witness, I can use scripture lessons for saying, I feel, I think, it's my opinion. What people want to hear is the Bible, so when you come to Christ, what happens? Well, in Revelation 3.20, he comes into your life, and then we can go to uh, John 1.12, he gives you the right to be a child of God, and then we can go to Colossians 1.14, uh, talks about redemption, and then we can go to 1 John 5, 11, 13, which talks about eternal life. That's what happens when we accept Jesus Christ. We have eternal life. Um, and then also Philippians 3, 8, it talks about knowing God. We get to know God personally. So what I want to do is I'm going to... Now watch me, okay? I'm going to take this up. I'm going to move these around a little bit. Now... 
I want you to tell me which sack the bottle's in. Is it sack number one, sack number two, or sack number three? Which one do you think is in? One. One? Okay. This one? Okay, let's take it around here. Set this down here so you can see this. So, but Sue says in sack number one. Wrong. I got two sacks left. Which one's in there? I got two and three. It's the toughest question could be asked all day. Two. So set this down here. Well, where's the bottle at? Three. Now, you know at one time there was a bottle and a sack. Mm -hmm. And you know it's still in the sack someplace. Or is it in the sack someplace? The whole idea is what I did was I took that bottle, I wiped it away. It's gone. It no longer exists from your perspective. And that's what Jesus does when he died on the cross. He took our sins and it just washed them away. And so if I can take a bottle... And you saw the bottle. It was always in front of you. The three sacks was in front of you, except a few minutes is underneath this. And the only reason I did this is because I could. And the bottle's not in here. All you know is I had a bottle. I wiped it away. And that's as simple as what Jesus did for us when he died. Redemption means he cleansed us. He redeemed us by taking our sins away. So today what you saw was I took a bottle... I basically wiped it away, just like our sins. So that's all I have for now. And uh, Riley, you're the only one in here who really knows what happens. Okay. And remember, that's not magic. I'm just being sneaky. We don't forget that.